Hello everyone and welcome to today's SQL video. Today we are going to write a SQL query to pivot the data based on multiple columns. So we have some sales and inventory data for three categories, senior, adult and kids for multiple stores. And we're going to pivot this data and it is going to look like this after we write a SQL query. We have already done a SQL video on writing a pivot query, so you can check out the link above if you want to understand how to write a simple pivot query. Before pivoting on multiple columns, let's assume we had only one column that we needed to pivot. In that case, this is how we would have written the pivot query. So select all the columns from table sales and define this as the source table. Pivot max of sales for category in and define these three categories as column names senior adult and kids as pivot and then write a select statement at the top selecting the pivoted columns executing this is going to pivot the senior adult and kids the three category columns and give us the value of sales for the different stores now just to make sure that this is the sales data, we could have added another column and given it a value of sales. And let's say just call it matrix. And now if we execute this column, we will see that the matrix is sales for which we have these values for the three categories. So in case we have multiple matrix, which were the multiple columns that we need to pivot, we can put the matrix names in this column. Now going back to our table, for which we need to pivot the two matrix sales and inventory. So in this case, what we are going to do as a first step is to unpivot these columns. So sales and inventory now should come as two different rows for each store. And to unpivot, we are going to use cross apply. And we're going to use values to generate the different values for sales and inventory. So sales, and let's make this inventory. And since this is a table valued constructor, we have to give a table name and the columns. We can just say call and value. Now, since this is a cross apply, it is just going to match these values with every row in the table. And now we're just going to select these two columns in a select statement and execute this query. So now you see that for every combination of store and category, you have got a column with sales and inventory. So the data has been unpivoted. Now you, instead of the two columns, sales and inventory, we have two rows, sales and inventory with the corresponding values for sales and inventory. Now the next step is to just move these categories from the rows to the columns. So to move the categories to the columns, again, we are going to use pivot and do a max of this value column so max of value for category n and define those three categories as column names now we're going to select the final column so before that since it is a pivot we have to make we have to make this query as a source table so this is going to be a source table now as source table and now we are going to select the pivoted columns. So we want to show the store. Then we want to show the column that defines it as sales or inventory. So the column name is COL call. That is what we're going to select. And then we want to show the three categories from the query that we just wrote. Now we are ready to execute the query and we have the senior adult kit and the inventory and sales value. We can add an order by clause if you want to order by the stores. So this two-step process can help you achieve the multiple pivoting. First, you have to unpivot your the columns that you want the values for, and then your categories can be pivoted using the pivot statement.